The Arkin U1 is one of the most advanced zero install countertop reverse osmosis systems and is capable of providing instant hot, cold, or room temp purified water at the touch of a button. I was lucky enough to get my hands on one and I'm super excited to give you all the nitty gritty on why I love it so much, a few things I don't actually like, who I think this water filter would be a perfect fit for and who I'd recommend it to, as well as a few situations where a different system might be a better choice. Hey guys, it's Brian Campbell, and first let's quickly go over the price of this filter. Not only is the U1 the most advanced countertop RO, not surprisingly, it's also the most expensive that I've come across. Up front, this filter will set you back 700 bucks, and you'll also want to factor in the cost of replacement filters. The pre and post filters need to be replaced every 12 months, the hydrogen module every 6 to 12 months, and the RO membrane only once every 2 to 4 years. The pre and post filters are $35 each. The hydrogen module is 40 bucks and a new RO membrane costs around $70. So when you add it all up and average it all out, filter replacement should run about 100 to 150 bucks a year. So what exactly makes the Arkin U1 so expensive and is it really worth the hefty price? Let's break it down right now. Here are a few of the key features that make this countertop RO unique. It provides customizable on-demand water temperature at the touch of a button. The five stages of filtration provide solid contaminant removal and additional benefits. The first stage sediment filter removes any large particles that might damage the subsequent stages. Second is an activated carbon filter. Third is the RO membrane. Fourth is a post purification polishing filter that adds healthy minerals back in, giving the water a more pleasant alkaline taste. And finally is the hydrogen infusion stage, which creates hydrogen rich negative ORP water. I think this is really cool because other systems for creating hydrogen infused water tend to cost in the thousands. And you can also choose to disable this stage if you'd rather not use it. There's a filter life indicator which turns yellow once the filter has been 80% used and red when it needs to be replaced. The smart display provides info and notifications about when the unit's filtering, when it needs to be refilled, the water temp, volume and ounces, hydrogen content in parts per billion, TDS, and any error codes if there's an issue. There are a lot of things I do absolutely love about the Arkin U1. Since it's an RO system, you get thorough contaminant reduction by up to 99% of nearly everything, including chlorine and chloramine, fluoride, lead and other heavy metals, pesticides, pharmaceuticals, PFAs, and more. The system has passed third-party IAP mode testing for the reduction of TDS, fluoride, lead, chromium-3, chromium-6, and PFOA and PFOS. It has also passed NSF 372 for lead-free material safety. So Arkin gave us exclusive access to these test reports, but I've suggested to them that they actually make these public and publish them on their website so that everybody can see the data themselves. Arkin applied for official NSF 58 certification for reverse osmosis performance. At the time of recording, this is still in progress. However, after seeing the testing data, I have no doubt in my mind this system will achieve certification. The system doesn't require invasive installation, it's super easy to use and the filters come pre-installed. Just plug it in, fill up the reservoir and let the thing run. So the maintenance is super easy too. The system has a few self-cleaning features including a UV light that zaps the stored water to prevent microbe growth and a rinse setting that drains the system and flushes the filters. In short, you won't have to take apart the entire system to get it clean. You will need to clean the external reservoir, wipe down the outside of the machine and replace the filters, but that's really it in terms of maintenance. It also filters the water really quickly, capable of providing up to 75 gallons of purified water per day. There there are a number of preset temp buttons for specific purposes, including modes for coffee, tea, and milk, as well as different cup sizes and volumes to choose from. So do you have any questions about the U1 or reverse osmosis in general? If so, let me know down in the comments. And if you're finding this video informative, do me a huge favor and show that like button some love. All right, so as I mentioned, there are a few things I don't like so much. While the one-to-one -one efficiency ratio is better than most conventional RO systems, it's not as good as some of the other countertop units out there. So in comparison, the AquaTrue has a four to one pure to reject water ratio and the WaterDrop N1 is a three to one. One of the trade-offs for all this additional functionality is that this unit has a larger footprint than others as well. And for as large as the unit is, the half gallon purified water holding capacity is a bit on the small side. And while this isn't necessarily unique to the U1, it's kind of an issue with all countertop ROs, depending on how much water you actually drink, 
you'll probably need to be refilling the holding tank all the time. And the reservoir tank is pretty big and bulky, so that could make it difficult to fill depending on your kitchen faucet. And finally, the Arkin U1 is about $300 more expensive than the average countertop RO system. So let's talk about who I think this system would be a good fit for and who might wanna consider something else. If you rent your home or are living in an apartment or condo where installation options are limited, this is a great option to consider. It's also perfect for folks who want a system that provides purified water, but don't want the hassle of manually remineralizing with trace mineral drops or similar. And along those same lines, if you like the idea of a system that provides additional potential health benefits, then the U1 is definitely worth considering. You won't find many other water purifiers capable of providing hydrogen infused and negative ORP water at this same price point. I'd also recommend it if you like the idea of on-demand hot or cold water. This thing is great for making a cup of tea in a snap, which is what we use it for all the time. And finally, folks who prefer limited maintenance and cleaning will absolutely love the hands-off nature of the U1. All that being said, there are definitely some folks I really would not recommend this system to. If efficiency is one of your top concerns, the one-to-one -one pure to drain water ratio is a bit of a letdown. If you have really limited counter space, this one might simply be too big. You'll also need to be capable of filling and lifting the external reservoir. It could be a bit heavy and quite awkward to fit onto the back of the machine when it's completely full. This is why they sell a turntable for it, but again, depending on the space you have, this might not even be an option. If you do own your home, I'd recommend just going for a tankless, under-the-counter RO rather than using a countertop system like this one. And finally, if you don't have the 700 bucks to drop, there are many cheaper, albeit less advanced, countertop reverse osmosis systems out there to choose from. If you wanna purchase the U1 for your home, there's a link down in the description. And if you like this video, make sure to check out some of our other water filter reviews, which are coming up next. Click or tap to watch now.